Hey guys, welcome to Epic Audio for Everyone channel. Let's start from where we left in our previous tutorial. We are going to create methods now and we will associate those methods with user student class. Let's create our first method. We need to define our methods outside of the constructor. Login and Barak then curly brace. We don't need to put comma here. This is going to be our first method. Let's type a message in that method and display on console. By the way, we can access our properties in the method too. For example, console log, this username and comma and our message. Let's say logged in message and semicolon and let's create our logout method logout barrax and curly brace and console log this username and our message logout message now we can access that method from our new object Let me comment them out and let's use our new methods new student dot login and let's use logout for new student to new student to and logout and semicolon. Let's save it and have a look at it. You see guys, we see our messages and username. Username one logged in message and username to logged out message. On the other side, I want to show something. Let's type one of our object name, new student, and enter. We see our object. Let's expand that one, and we see proto. Proto is an object. And we see all methods in Proto which belong to student class as you see. So we can see all those things in Proto object. Let's have a look at using more than one method in a same line. We call it method chaining. Let me comment them out and create some space. New student, login and logout. So I want to use both method in the same line. But we also need to do another thing in our method. We need to return this keyword in our method because we need to return instance of the object and instance of the object is stored in this keyword. That's why we need to return this keyword in our method. So we need to add here return this and we need to add the same things here. By the way, we should put semicolon here too and return this. Let's save it and have a look at it. You see guys, we see the result username one logged in and username one logged out. So we use method chaining in this way as you see. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching it. See you in the next video.